The last day of the festival. Time to sum up. There are only four countries able to raise an army. The minimum required number under the rules of Battle of the Nations is 35 full contact fighters participate in three raiding categories. These four countries are Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and Poland. Even the best fighters, the Czech Republic has one or two men. The other guys just wear armor but cannot fight or even have fake armor. We have real combat armor. Fighters are always willing to share their experience. I see this championship almost like a world championship. It really gathers the best fighters. For us, it's really an honor that we were invited by the Poles to their national team. Imagine a country invites representatives from some other country to fight for its honor. It's a great opportunity because, unfortunately, we can't gather enough Lithuanians. We don't have enough skilled fighters. Only our club came. Today, the final fights of the festival will take place. So, can we sum up? No, it's impossible to sum up now, because the last day of the festival is ahead, as well as the final battles. So we'll see. We'll hold the events with God's help, and then we'll be able to sum it up. It's a new, developing kind of sport, and refereeing is not really fully objective. If you analyze the refereeing of boxing of the early 20th century, or tennis or football, you'll find the same thing. It's the usual situation for a developing sport like this. The objectivity is being formed right now, as well as a school for referees. We're learning to deal with modern technologies, with video replay, for example. This is extreme, you know, adrenaline is flowing. It's fun to communicate, of course. When you fight with your opponent, one of you wins, or you both fall down, or something like that, and you begin to like each other a lot. It's an awesome way to meet people. It's difficult to understand, I know. This is war and peace at the same time. And, in fact, we have a very peaceful audience for this kind of battle. Our guys have no illusions about war, because they know how scary it is to fight even for fun. And if it happens one day, God forbid, uh, they must choose peace over war. They'll choose peace because they understand that war is no joke. It's sports, but with a surge of adrenaline and emotion on the list. We meet friends, spend time around campfires, guests come to us, we visit our comrades, and we leave all the aggression and hatred behind. Now we sit together and we have a great rest. Just a great time. People play war, close to reality, in a seriously scary way. But let me emphasize the word play. I think the world would be a more peaceful place if people stood in the front row of a mass battle. If you feel fear, and that happens in spite of many years of practice, that feeling will always be with you, and you will always choose peace. Now, the first round. Let's root for the fighters. One and a half minutes, long sword. Last decisive battle. No one can be weak. Everyone must fight their heart. Ahead, they can dream only of victory. Oleg, strike! Just do it! Strike! Stop! Fighters, retreat to your positions! Victor, Fighter, Podluzhny! It is now the last chance to exchange strokes of steel. This is the finale. Here the men go beyond their best. They give it 150% of their maximum effort. The Ukrainian fighter, a member of the national team, Oleg Podluzhny, is proud of his accomplishment. He is near the end of the battle. All the fighters of the Russian national team were in the final, including the fourth fighter, Nadezhdin, who won yesterday. They're the best fighters of the CIS. I think I lost with dignity. I fought for Ukraine, and it was necessary to represent it with dignity. I left the course on my own two feet without anyone's help. I lost, but with dignity, and I finished all the fights. The final category, one versus one. The atmosphere is tense. Suspense is in the air. Only the most experienced, most persistent, strongest and most durable men are in this fight. 
It's impossible to predict the outcome. The men fight for first place. The Russians are ahead, but there is a struggle even among them. The fighters of the same team have also crossed swords. Stop! There is little time left. Soon the one versus one battles will be over. The best fighters continue. The best representatives of the same school fight on the course. Perfect skills, powerful strokes, complex tactical combinations. This is a fight for first place. Was your opponent stronger? Of course he was stronger. He defeated me. He was slightly better than me in long sword and in the sword buckler rounds. He had a significant advantage. We're club mates. We've been training together for a long time, and we know each other well. From time to time, we fight with each other. And he wins more often than I do. Those who are at the top know each other well. The best fighters are not numerous, nor are they a surprise for their comrades. Fights between the champions are fascinating because it seems they have almost equal strength, but the men are perfectly aware of the real balance of power between them. The national team of Russia gets all the three prize-winning places. He's very fast. The only reason why I win is that I weigh 50 kilograms more. His weight is about 70, and mine is 120. Uh, we both started training 10 years ago. We know each other perfectly well. Hence the result is 1-2. Of course, the prize money does matter. I took a thousand dollars that could have belonged to him. Greet the fighters, the national team of Russia. The first, second, and third place winners. To fight, you must become accustomed to protective equipment. Not everything is mastered at once. It is a long way from the first training to the Battle of the Nations. Thousands of hours of training, hundreds of fights. When you put on a helmet, you see the world differently through the eye holes, through the visor. The field of view is narrower. It's harder to breathe. You feel the weight of your arm. And when there are two lines, when you feel the shoulder of your friend, and you know that someone is behind you, you see the opponent's formations in front of you, you realize this is not chess. This is a group of strong, armed men with iron weapons. And when you hear the command, to the fight, everything stops. You hear only the sound of your heart. You see your opponent, and you do what you must do. The archetypical male is a warrior, no matter what modern society likes to believe. Men want to hold a weapon, and they want to participate in battles. A man needs a burst of adrenaline. He has to use his strength somehow. And what we do isn't just a game. We study history, we know some traditions, expressions and customs, and we can use them to some extent. It becomes immediately clear who we really are. Russia too has already made a formation and will see the fight for third place. Let's greet the fighters. To the fight! Very tough competition. Let's watch it attentively. Let's give a cheer among this great group of fighters. The second round, Russia 1 versus Russia 3. Again, the Russian fighters compete with each other for the prize. The Russians have always been known for an offensive combat style, knocking opponents out of the court as quickly as possible. This is a decisive battle. 
Stop. Stop the battle. Victory for Russia 3. The second round is won by Russia 3. Fighters of the Ukrainian national team are pitted against the strong Russian 5x5 five five team. This is one of the most anticipated and perhaps the most important, most exciting 5 versus 5 battle of the festival. The fighters deliver heavy blows. They do not save energy. This is the main final battle. The winner takes the gold. A stressful moment. Stop! Second round. To the fight! The stubbornness and strength of men cannot be matched. The second round is a battle of will and stamina. The Ukrainians have the advantage for a while, but the Russians are at their best. They surround their opponents and crush them under the weight of heavy blows. The fight near the barrier of the course is long and hard, and in a heroic effort, the Ukrainians don't give up, even though they are surrounded. Eventually, however, the Russian national team wins. First place goes to Russia 1, second place goes to Ukraine 2. The more difficult the victory, the sweeter it is. Four hard days separated these fighters from this moment. But finally, success. Finally, it has arrived. Let's applaud the participants of the final. Twenty-one versus twenty-one category. The last fights. Many fighters are tired. They were taking part in other battles, but they must gather all of their strength now to get ready for the last decisive one. No one wants to allow a victory for their rival. The fighters line up on the list, and the referees take their places. These are the last battles of the royal category. The men must suffer a last challenge to test their strength and their will to win. Objectively, we can say after the fighting that, of course, the strongest win, and it's not right to say something stopped you or that you lacked something. But I can say that our weak point was that we didn't have enough fighters. We had about 31, 33 men. The other teams had more reserve fighters, and therefore they had more opportunity. At the end, at the finish line, so to speak, our fighters were exhausted, and their opponents less so. That played a role. The national teams of Russia and Ukraine will again fight for their nations for one last time. It will be a tough battle. The men will do their best. All the fighters are ready to do everything they need to do to win. But only one team will be victorious. What's unique about our national team is a high level of fighting and morale, as well as personal bravery on the part of each member. However, a serious drawback is a lack of integrity. This is especially clear in mass battle. Personal heroism is important, but integrity and good leadership are the keys. Are the fighters ready? All the competitors were strong. I can honestly say that the Russian national team is very strong, very professional. It has a large number of truly unique fighters, and they show stunning results. Only one person is necessary to change the outcome of an entire fight. The Ukrainian national team is highly rated also. It's got great potential in terms of human resources and the fact that the team has a lot of people. And that means that it can compete in any of the categories.
сборной, которые могут обеспечивать участие сборной. To provide a team for the royal category, a national team needs to be big. The national team of Russia is unmatchable here as well. It's large and it's well coordinated. We welcome the Russian national team. And here is the award ceremony. The last parade of the national teams. The fighters competed four days and now the winners will feel the taste of victory. Fighters of the Russian national team are on the list. They don't hide their happiness. Their victory is well deserved. Hard won in battle. It is shared by those who fought, those who cheered them on, and those who had to leave the field due to injury. Everything culminates here. The years of hard training and fighting, going beyond the limits. But the festival is not only about those who won. It is also about those who competed, who fought, and who did their best. The reenactors cordially greet each other. Some will never forget the days of May when they met to do battle, and many will want to come back as soon as they can. I love the exciting atmosphere. The people were nice. I wish you all the best, and thanks to the organizers and participants for such a great event. Seriously, thank you very much. It was the first time we fought with such good condition. The emotions are incredible. The battle's brilliant. Everything's okay. We didn't always like everything. But in general, the world's best fighters gathered. I would like to emphasize that the best fighters, not only of Eastern Europe, not only of Europe in general, but the best fighters in the world. Here, we have no equal. All the fighters were absolutely cool, and I wish the injured a quick recovery. But don't relax, because we'll come back next year and take the cup.